Hey, this is Shiraz. And before we get started, I just want to let you know that when I clear something for someone, when I cause a shift, I tend to yawn and cough from the energetic shift that happens. I don't know why it happens. It's just how my body works. And if you don't know that, you're going to listen to this video and go, what the hell is wrong with this guy? You might still think that, but now there's more of an explanation. The other thing to keep in mind is that if you hear something that you can absolutely relate to, when I cleared for them, you can get it cleared for you too. Just say yes when they're saying yes, and it works. It's, I have people that watch these videos every morning to get stuff cleared. This can be your new morning habit too. Okay, that's enough for that. Let's get on with the video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get a great shift out of it. See you soon. I've been mulling this idea around for quite a while, and I'm preventing myself from doing it. But obviously, it's coming up and being presented to me again. Um, I have a chance to start doing readings for people. Mm -hmm. And I know it's a confidence thing that's stopping me and feeling that I could be wrong. And I know that uh, some psychics in Toronto are making over $100,000 a year and yeah, I'd like to have a career doing that, but do I feel good enough to do that? Okay. Who decides whether you're good enough? Me. That is true, but it's not actually coming up true. So are you willing to step out of the story that you don't get to decide whether you're good enough? Oh, I, I, I just, I went right into Total panic there. Yep. I want to be. Okay. Oh. The, when, it, when it comes to success, there are elements where you're, you're amazing at something, therefore you make a lot of money doing it. And there are people in the world that are just, that's where they are. But there's actually a lot more people out there that are good at what they do, not amazing at what they do, but they've created a brand so powerful that everyone's like, I'm going to them. I'm going to pay them a lot of money, right? Do you, do you think Dr. Phil is the best psychiatrist on the planet? <laughs> no. Yeah. But he's one of the most well-paid psychiatrists psychiatrist on the planet because he's branded himself, right? So when you realize that it's not, it's not that you have to be amazing, although it's okay to be amazing. It's not that you have to be perfect, although it's okay. But it's just that I can do this. I get results. And now it's just a matter of building a business around it it becomes easier to build that business. Okay. So, and when that's the case, that whole thing of worthiness, am I good enough? It's easier to deal with, but it's still, you've got something there that someone else decides whether or not you're good enough. Who is that? Probably my father. Okay. So are you willing to step out of the story that he gets to decide whether or not you're good enough to do what you want to do? I know the answer is yes. And it just keeps coming up of him telling me I'm going to be a nurse and wanting okay. me to be a nurse. And I refuse to do it. Okay. It's not what I want to do. Okay. And I know I'm, I should be doing what I want to do. Yep. And I know that if I do what I want to do, then it's going to be flat from my mother. Okay. So is it better to not do what you want to do than to deal with the flat? Yeah. Okay. Are you willing to destroy that belief? Ow. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> it's 
what keeps coming up is you're a witch and you're going to be burned at the stake. Okay. Is that what your mom told you? No. Somebody okay. else has told me that. Okay. So are you allowed to do anything that will cause you to be judged by other people? Yeah. Yes. Are you willing to step out of the story that you can't do anything that might cause people to judge you badly? Yes. Oh, I thought that was going to move you. Pull back. Is it more important to make other people not even happy? Is it more important to make other people feel justified than to create your own success? No. Okay, that's not coming up true. Are you willing to destroy the belief that it's more important to make other people feel justified than to ooh, create your own success? Yes. Is it more important to be liked than to be successful? No. Again, not coming up true. Are you willing to destroy the belief that it's more important to be liked than to be successful? Yes. How? Are you willing to, ouch, yeah, there it is. Are you willing to step out of the story that it's more important to be accepted than it is to be successful? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, better, or worse, same, or different? Tightness in my chest, real tightness. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to give up the people around you to create the success you desire? Yeah. Mm, that's not bad. Will they go? That's the thing. What do you mean, will they go? Well, uh, sometimes you have people who try to drag you down. Yep. And when you try and get rid of them, they will not go. So they want it, to hold on tight. Okay. So if you try to get rid of people that aren't contributing to your life and your happiness, will it be worse for you when, when you start to do that? No. Because that's not coming up. So are you willing to step out of the story that getting rid of people that don't contribute to your life will just make things worse? Yes.
Are you willing to step out of the story that every toxic person you let go of is going to fight and struggle to stay in your life? Yes. <coughs> Ooh, there we go. Now, are you willing to step out of the story that it's better and easier just to leave these people in your life than to deal with the fight and struggle when they go? And that's where I come into the problem because if there's a lot of struggle, then it causes me to have more seizures. And then I can't function. Okay. Are you creating the seizures so you don't have to deal with their struggle? No. That's not coming up true. So are you willing to step out of the story that you need the seizures so that you don't have to deal with their struggle? Yes. Remember, there are lots of options out there. It could be that you just pick up and go. And there's no fight because you just you're just gone. It could be that you can get out of this story and stay out of the story that there's always going to be a struggle. And so now when you let people go, they're just going to like, okay, we're just not going to talk. Or you just don't even discuss it. You just stop talking and they never contact you. You never contact them. There's all these ways this can come out, but your story has always been that there's always going to be a struggle. It's always going to get worse. It's just, it's, it's going to be too much to deal with. And then the argument's going to cause you to seize. But the seizure is, was the protection from all those, that fighting that you just didn't want to deal with. No one's going to fight you when you're having a seizure. Oh. 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 Okay, how's that feel? Scary, but a bit lighter. Okay. Yeah, because when you start to change the people around you, it's going to feel scary because you, even if you don't like what's happening and how the people act around you, you're, it's comfortable and familiar. Mm -hmm. so now you're going to be moving into a completely unfamiliar territory, and that's going to feel scary for a little while until you see it's actually better. Yeah, this is just going right up my neck and I'm in extreme pain. Are you willing to step out of the story that you have to stay where you're comfortable and safe, no matter what the cost? Yes. <laughs> I just want things to flow with ease. But sometimes you have to go through the turbulence before you get to the ease. And if you're not willing to go through that turbulence, you're just going to be stuck where you are. I've been through the turbulence. I don't want any more turbulence. I've done enough. I don't want to see that anymore. Okay. But your avoidance of the turbulence means you're avoiding moving forward. Okay, so you just you just stated why you're staying stuck. Yeah. So I'm with the turbulence of not going through it. When you're willing to go through whatever turbulence there is to get to that place where you want, then things will start to move again. So are you willing to step out of the story that you have to avoid that turbulence at all costs? Yes. Ooh. Okay, how's that feel? It's 
still processing. Okay. I just, I want what I want now. I want it to work out now. I want, yeah, I've got to have patience, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can allow it to show up now, but it's going to show up when it decides to show up. Yes, I know that, but I'm going to have to show up now. I think it's time. It's it'll show up when it's presented. It's now. Okay. Even though that puts you through a bunch of turbulence. Mm, yeah. Yeah. See, <laughs> see, you just backed <laughs> off. Oh, now it's going to put me through turbulence. Then no, not now. <laughs> I weathered storms before. I guess I'll have to weather if if it shows up another storm. I guess I'll have to weather that too. Okay. So are you willing to, for it to show up now, even if it means going through a lot of turbulence? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Remember when you're trying to manifest something, if you start putting in as long as, you know, <laughs> uh, yeah, as long as this, uh, if only this, but this can't happen, those always diminish or stop the manifestation. I want it to happen now, as long as there's no turbulence, but then you just stop it. When you're, when you're trying to manifest, you want to create all the positive attributes. You want to stick attributes on whatever you want to create. I want to create a relationship that is fun and loving and playful and romantic. You can stick all those adjectives on to say, this is what I want the relationship to be. But as soon as you start saying, but not this, and as long as this guy doesn't, but only if this guy, then now you're stopping the manifestation. So you've got to watch those caveats you throw in there. Okay, how are you doing? I'm good. And I'm, I'm getting in that silly thing where I'm just, and I know this is when I like being funny and I'm thinking, yeah, people are going to think I'm psychic. I can pick all the lottery numbers. No, I can't, but I can actually make money flow into your life. Like you, like everybody else, we can all yep. have money flow in. Okay. I like that. Are you allowed to use that ability for yourself? Damn right. Okay, so that's not coming up true. So yes, are you willing to destroy the belief that you're not allowed to use those abilities for yourself, for your personal gain? Yes. <laughs> Have I used those? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. Did I take it? Yes, I have. Because I was told you're not supposed to do that, but I did it anyways. Okay. So now just do it and don't worry about it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Hey, daily grand night. Let's have some fun with this. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like. And if you had a shift of your own, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Also, check out the description for energetic magic events that you can attend every single month. Be well, be aware, and be magical.